Whether or not, meteorologist Joe Bastardi here. Um, I haven't done a lot of these, and those of you on the uh, YouTube channel I have. Uh, I, I, I don't really mix um, what I do at work with uh, what I do on the outside. So, um, but on the other hand, uh, there'll be times when, especially when hurricanes are coming, that we'll show you some of the things that Weather Bell, uh, my company, is forecasting. And we've got a big hurricane season forecast. But I want to deal briefly with this. This was out of the BBC back in March. Air pollution and CO2 fall rapidly as virus spreads. Nonsense. Yes, this has fallen. CO2 is not a pollutant. It's not carbon soot, folks. It's not sulfur dioxide. It is a naturally occurring substance needed for life. You exhale 100 times more of that than you inhale. Trees, plants um, take all this and use it. That's why the Earth is greener it's ever been in the satellite era. By the way, I've got a simple solution to this. Actually, it's not mine. It's Tucker Carlson's, and he got it from someone else uh, that wrote on this, that we should plant, I guess, uh, what, six billion trees globally? We should go on, because that'll take care of the uh, pollutants in the air, or the, uh, the CO2 in the air. See, even I say pollutants. But what I want to show you is how wrong that is. This is when the economic shutdown started, and up it's it's going up like it does at each time of the year. Now, my theory that uh, that was written about March nineteenth by the BBC, and they may have been sucked into this. See this little flattening there, but notice there's a flattening here too. Seems like that at every uh, every time of the year. We're getting ready to turn around. See, we go back down the other way. Now, why do we go back down the other way? Because when you green the northern hemisphere, it takes the CO2 out of the air. You know, I am really, the more I look at this, you know, and the more I say, this, this solution is not that hard. I mean, if you're like me and you believe in nuclear power, you put that in there too, right? If you really want to eliminate the problem, just start planting trees up all over the place. You say, well, wait a minute. How can we plant all these trees if, uh, you know, people are living? Well, there are plenty of places people aren't living, all right? Plenty of ways to do this. And um, I guess if you, from what I read was that if you planted enough trees the size of Canada, you would offset CO2 rise. Now, the question is, uh, with this continuing up, with this continuing up, folks, why are people portraying this economic shutdown as something good to fight climate change if it continues going up? It's going up. It's not stopping. So if it, if it is the factories in man, you can't use that example right now. <laughs> it's, and it's amazing. Get away with it. I'm astounded by it. Does anybody in the media that's not on the, you know, my side of the issue in global warming, even look at what people are telling them. Now, what might be causing it? Well, look at the change in sea surface temperatures since the mid-80s to now. The oceans are much warmer. The oceans are the greatest uh, reservoir of carbon dioxide. When the oceans warm, it's like what you do about get, get a can of Coke or Pepsi or whatever carbonated beverage you like. Open it up. Let it sit there for four hours and warm to room temperature. Uh, I bet it's going to be a lot flatter than if you got it out of there cold, right? And what does that tell you? When, when the two things that the ocean is responsible for outsourcing that are very important to greenhouse gases, one is water vapor. And I've explained that before, why water vapor may be the uh, reason that we see the warming where it is and when it is. And two, carbon dioxide. And my hypothesis is that the oceans, they're warming, and they still have not reached the equilibrium of getting the carbon dioxide out of them, given the warmth of them, because it's so warm. You understand that, that, that because it's so warm, there's a process where carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere here. And so 
it lags a little bit. Things from the things in the ocean generally lag some. The 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 uh, the oceans are slow to change temperature and slow to change different types of uh, different types of things in them. So that's just a hypothesis. But even if it is not that, if it is not that, it's certainly uh, it's certainly using the economic shutdown to say this is how we get rid of CO2 and these headlines air pollution and CO2 fall rapidly as virus spreads not right not right and I don't know if they published a, a retraction of it or whatever but it's plainly not correct and you can see that for yourself this is from Scripps Institute it's not the you know right wing uh, uh, you know Institute of uh, let's fight global warming or you know whatever. So it's from Scripps, all right. A lot of good work out of Scripps, even though they believe that uh, uh, warming is man-made, a real good organization. And at least they could they make the data available, even when the data isn't agreeing with what people want to push. All right, that's it for now. And um, you know, take it easy. Have a great week. Stay safe. Okay. And uh, enjoy the weather. It's the only weather you got.